Can it be real sometime in the future that vehicles will generate their own energy? Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could drive a car that you would never have to refuel or recharge and even cause zero emissions? Unbelievable, but such a vehicle has been in use since 2018 in a Swiss quarry. It's called the e-dumper. It's a huge dumper truck, a transport vehicle for bulk goods such as gravel or rock. Never refuel or recharge? How can that be? Arthur C. Clarke, the science fiction author, once stated that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. But magic is not needed here. It is sufficient to use an underestimated characteristic of battery electric vehicles, namely recuperation. Electric motors cannot only consume electricity and drive a vehicle, they can also generate electricity by decelerating the vehicle. The more mass the vehicle has, the more electricity is generated when braking. That's why it's okay that electric cars like those of Tesla are so big. Is that a new invention? Absolutely not. Recuperation has been around for almost 120 years. How exactly does this e-dumper work? The empty transporter weighs 58 tons and drives up the mountain with its battery charge. At the top of the mountain, it loads up to 65 tons of rock and then weighs 123 tons. If it then drives down the mountain again to deliver its cargo, the electricity generated by the recuperation process and stored in the battery is sufficient to then drive the empty truck back up the mountain. In this way, a good 300,000 tons of material are transported each year without any cost for electricity, without emissions. 50,000 liters of diesel are not consumed annually and 130 tons of carbon dioxide are not blown into the atmosphere. Isn't that great? And it's not a vision, it's real. So this is an excellent example of how technology and a clever idea can solve everyday problems while saving cost and resources and protecting nature. Now it's your turn. What opportunities do you have for the future if you apply this case to your own company? How do you integrate such forward-looking concepts into your future strategy, your business model and your services?